write down the period of f okay so let's take a look we have f of x which is equals to 2 sine of 2x so what will be the period of f of x let's go ahead and find out uh, the period is given by 360 divided by b b being this value that we have right here the coefficient of x in our case b is equals to 2 so we're gonna have 360 divided by 2 which is equals to 180 degrees so this is the period of f okay if you decide to calculate instead but the question says we must just write it down even if you look at your graph you can see that the graph of f of x it completes itself between 0 and 180 so the period is 180 degrees let's move to 6.2 6.2 Determine the range of G in the interval X is an element of 0 to 180 degrees. G of X is equal to minus cos of X plus 45 degrees. It's very simple for you to make this mistake. You can say that the range of G, uh, we have minus 1 to positive 1. But this is actually not true. This is not the case. Let me show you why. Positive 1 is correct, but minus 1 is not correct. Let's look at g of x. So this is g of x. Okay. If you look at the lowest value, g of x doesn't touch minus 1. So if you write your range in this way, it will be incorrect. You actually have to calculate that value. And... As you can see from the sketch, it is clearly not equal to minus 1. So let's go ahead and find that value. So we're going to have g of g of 0 being equal to minus cos of 0 plus 45. So what is cos of 45? That is 1 divided by square root of 2. So the range of g of x is actually minus 1 divided by square root of 2 up to positive one okay so this is the actual range of g of x and not minus one to positive one yeah this is because of the restriction we have we are given an interval we are interested in okay generally it will be minus one to positive one but here it is a bit different because of the restriction just like in question four of mathematics paper one Let's do 6.3, 6.3.1. So determine the values of x in the interval x and element of 0 to 180, for which f of x, let's take a look at that. f of x multiplied by g of x is greater than 0. So we want f of x multiplied by g of x to be greater than 0. For this to be true, it's either f of x is positive while g of x is also positive or the other way around f of x is negative while g of x is also negative yeah if that is the case then f of x multiplied by g of x will be greater than zero so let's go to our graph and find those points from zero to 45 degrees from zero to 45 degrees g of x is negative and f of x is positive so 0 to 45 cannot be part of our solution but take a look at this from 45 degrees to 90 degrees so from 45 to 90 degrees g of x is positive and f of x is positive but after 90 degrees you can see that f of x starts being negative okay up until 180 degrees so we can clearly see that uh, the values of x for which f of x multiplied by g of x is greater than zero is when x is between 45 degrees and 90 uh, degrees if you look at your graph that is easy to see um, g of x is positive here g of x is positive and the same is true with f of x f of x is also positive up until x is equal to 90 where f of x starts being negative 
let's do 6.3.2 so that is 6.3.1 6.3.2 i uh, we're looking for the values of x for which f of x is less or equals to we're looking for the values of x for which f of x plus one is less or equals to zero so we have f of x plus one being less or equals to zero so f of x if we make it the subject of the formula should be less or equals to minus one okay so let's go ahead to our graph and do the analysis we are given a point a of coordinates 105 degrees for the x value and minus one for the y value okay and then as the value of x increases f of x is negative and as the values of x increases f of x is less than minus one up until this point so we're interested on the x value at that point where f of x is no longer less than minus one okay so we know that our answer should start at x is equals to 105 because when x is equals to 105 degrees uh, f of x is equals to minus one and then we need another x value for which f of x will be equals to minus one this x value right here our solution will be between those two values okay if you play around with your x values if you say 105 plus 20 plus 30 you end up figuring out that x when x is equals to 165 degrees f of x will be equals to minus one so our solution we need x to be between 105 degrees and 165 degrees this is our solution when x is between those two numbers we can clearly see that f of x is less than minus one like we are required uh, to do okay that is 6.3.2 let's do 6.4 6.4 another graph p is defined as p of x is equals to minus f of x d uh, with coordinates k and minus one lies on p determine the values of k in the interval x is an element of zero degrees to 180 degrees so p of x is equals to minus f of x so p of x is equals to minus what is f of x f of x is two sine of 2x so p of x is equals to minus 2 sine of 2x this is p of x and then on p of x we have a point d of coordinates k and minus 1 we're supposed to find the value of k so we will simply substitute into p of x if we do that the y value is minus 1 minus 2 sine of 2k so if we take if we divide both sides by minus 2 we're going to get sine of 2k being equals to 1 divided by 2 so 2k is equals to sine inverse of 1 divided by 2 so what is sine inverse of 1 divided by 2 that is 30 uh, degrees okay so k should be equals to 15 degrees 6.4 the last question 6.5 the graph of h is obtained when g is translated 45 degrees to the left translation to the left is plus right so when it is translated 45 degrees to the left that is x plus 45 degrees okay if it was to the right it would be x minus 45 degrees determine the equation of h write down your answer in its simplest form so g of x is equals to minus cos of x plus 45 degrees if we want to translate it 45 units to the left then instead of having g of x we're going to have g of x plus 45 that will shift it 45 units to the left so minus cos of x plus 45 plus 45 so g of x plus 45 uh, will be equals to minus cos of 90 plus x 
They say we must write it down in its simplest form. Can we change cos of 90 plus x into something else? I think we can. Let me know in the comment section how we can further simplify minus cos of 90 plus x.